Hello Commanders, Commander Plater here, back with another Elite Dangerous video. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the flight mechanics within Elite Dangerous. I'm well known for doing flight assist off landings, after my first one I was told that I should be turning off rotation correction. This sparked quite a few comments about what it does and I thought we'd take a deeper dive into the mechanic. This is going to be a bit of a technical one for me, so if I do get something wrong feel free to correct me in the comments because you know what, good information is always good information. Let's start by talking about the two different flight models and how they differ. Flight Assist On is the simplest of modes to explain as it's the default mode for your ship. Your ship won't really do anything without your input. You throttle up, you go, you throttle down, you stop. Your turns end when you stop and take your hands off the stick or the keys. The direct control of your ship does make it easier to control, you won't need to deal with unrestricted inertia of your ship, so no input will return to its previous direction. Flight Assist On does have its drawbacks, your ship is essentially hamstrung, you will not be able to get its full potential for manoeuvres. Flight Assist Off, this is where things get a little bit more interesting. Once set in motion, your ship will continue in motion until it's acted upon by another force. This means if you initiate a roll, the roll will continue at the same speed until you provide the counter command. This applies to thrust in all directions. Once you've provided enough forward thrust to accelerate to 100 meters per second, you will continue to move at that speed even if you reduce your thrust to zero. You'll need to provide rear thrust to slow back down to zero. Provide too much and you'll begin going forwards again. And you'll need to provide a little bit of thrust to counter that and so on. FA off does have some serious benefits though. It allows for maneuvers that are simply not possible when flight assist is on. You are able to boost, cut throttle and turn whilst retaining your directional momentum and bring your guns to bear on a target. It's pretty handy stuff to know how to do and use and PVPers will normally fly FA off for this reason. FA off does have a very steep learning curve and will take you a long time to master. Right, so how does rotation correction come into this? Well, you know when you enter a rotating station and you need to compensate as you enter the mail slot and then once you're inside you suddenly don't anymore? That is rotation correction. Now, I'm going to hand over to Commander Plater here, inside a ship, in a station, and he's going to give you a slightly better demonstration of what happens when you turn it off, and combine it with Flight Assist Off. Well, thank you for the hand over there, Plater. So here I am, Commander Plater, here, inside uh, my Corvette, sat here in the middle of a station. Currently, we have Rotation Correction on and Flight Assist on, and as you can see, we are not moving at all. Except, we are. The station is rotating and we are rotating perfectly in line with the station. There are some things that we can do to really demonstrate the effect of rotation correction and flight assist off in these circumstances, so we're going to do a couple of different permutations of the options of having flight assist on, flight assist off and rotation correction on and off with those different modes. So as you can see, flight assist on, correction on, we do not move. That is because we are not moving. Except that, like I said, we are. Do remember that. We, when we seem to be standing still inside the station, we are moving with the station. Now if I turn flight assist off, and just flight assist off on its own, I'm not moving. Although it may seem to say that I am, that is essentially, I guess, close to my, uh, a little bit of movement from my HOTUS when I press the button. So that's all that's happening there. We're going to do a little bit of messing around with being further out of the station, so we're currently in the middle, we're going to move further out towards the edge. Flight assist back on, our velocity moves to zero. We're going to go into ship, we are going to turn off rotation correction next on, next on its own. Rotation correction, you notice we start to spin immediately. Do you remember here, we are not actually moving. The station is moving and we are standing still. And this is what rotation correction does, it keeps you in line with the station and its rotation. Time to turn that back on. So here we have rotation correction on, flight assist on as well. Next thing we're going to do is turn flight assist off and then we're going to turn rotation correction off as well. And you might notice there is no difference there whatsoever. The reason for that being is that we're already rotating in line with the station, we turn flight assist off, and remember how we spoke about that earlier, you maintain in motion. You might notice we're drifting slightly to the side, again that's due to a little bit of a 
throttle drift that can happen when you uh, when you change things over. So we can correct that quite easily. But there you go. We essentially stand still because we're already rotating. We turn flight assist off. Rotation correction goes off, and rotation correction is superseded by flight assist at this point because we're already moving. So we'll turn rotation correction back on. Uh, we don't actually change, we don't actually move, it continues. We'll turn flight assist back on and we'll pull ourselves back into the center of the station. Like I said, the effects are far more extreme when you're towards the edge of a station, much more noticeable. So, once again, we have flight assist on and rotation correction on. Next up, rotation correction is going to go off and flight assist is also going to go off. And again, you notice we have zero. And that's because we get started with our rotation, or our apparent rotation. That's the important thing. When flight assist, or sorry, when rotation correction goes off, then flight assist goes off, and all it does is maintain where you are, because you're not providing any input. So for our next test, we're much closer to the pad now. This is going to make the effects much more obvious. First one we're going to do is just going to be flight assist off on its own. And as we know, we should hopefully stay still. Okay, we are moving slightly here. This is due to microgravity and centripetal force. Because we're further away, we get caught in the microgravity that happens on the pads. And because we're not correcting our motion, it's pulling us, but also the station rotation at the same time. As you can see, even when I correct our sideways movement, our downwards movement continues. So I'm going to put fly assist back on. That's due to microgravity in the station. If you do run out of fuel and you find yourself above a pad, you can turn off flight assist and you will slowly move down towards your pad. This is if you're a couple of meters, nothing more. Do not try it if you're 50 meters above it because you're just gonna find yourself being spun around inside the station. Next up, and I am aware I only have three minutes to do the rest of this demonstration before I get a really hefty fine and get blown up. Next up, we're gonna do rotation correction and turn that off. We are going to, as you can see, move around or stay still as it is again. We're staying still. We are going to hit different bits of the station though. So we don't want that to happen. So we're going to put rotation correction back on. Now the I have to fight to correct that to put myself back in the right place. And I have to provide more thrust than you normally would to move backwards. So say if you just want to move left and you provide, I don't know, say, a thrust of 10, you need to provide 20 to counteract the station's rotation. That's not exact numbers, that's an if. Just ish. So next up, we're going to move slightly off of the pad to make sure that we don't get caught on station geometry. Rotation correction goes off, flight assist goes off as well. Nothing happens because that's the order we've done it in. So flight assist back on, rotation correction back on, and we're going to move ourselves back over to our pad. And the final example we've got coming up is going to be flight assist off, then rotation correction off. Flight assist off, rotation correction off. And as you can see, all we do is stay exactly the same because flight assist went off first. So I'm hoping that makes things a little bit clearer for everyone on the effects of rotation correction. Essentially, you don't notice it unless you're docking at a station. The effect is more noticeable the smaller the ship you're in as the terrain feels relatively larger and there's no noticeable effect when you try and dock at an outpost and turn off rotation correction because they don't rotate. But I do encourage everyone to give it a go and try it for yourself just to see what it feels like. And thank you for watching. Please make sure that you do like, subscribe and turn on notifications so you get an alert every time I put a new video out. Also, whilst you're there, if you are looking to support the channel, please check out the links in the video description as there are a couple of different ways to do so. But once again, thank you very much for watching. Commander Plater out.